Hey there everyone, Faish here, back again with another video and in the last video we saw about the public and private which are access modifiers. Yes, there could be a lot of fancy names about keywords and stuff, but the real reason why we call them as public, private and there is another one which we are going to discuss in this video, these are access modifier. They limit your ability that can you access those properties or how you can access them. Maybe yes, maybe no, or maybe why a restricted ways. And that's why we call them as access modifier. So we have already seen that there is an access modifier. So we have gone through with this one. So there is a private one, had a lot of discussion around it. And when there is nothing written it, that means by default, it will be public. You can explicitly mention that to get more clarity on the code, but there is one more use case. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shrink down all these methods. We are not worried about them. So let's just say we can actually shrink the constructor as well. Okay, now we can see that this is all good. Now there is a lot of time use cases about inheritance. You have declared a class, but you also want to use these classes as a parent for another class because a lot of functionality is already written and you want to just add a tiny bit of functionality into those classes. In such cases, inheritance is used. So how do we do that in the TypeScript? It's really simple. Let's just say we have a class of user and we want to create a sub user from that. Uh, maybe there is a family member in the user who also use your course access, so something like that. So we can go ahead and say uh, this is going to be a sub user. And since you have already defined all the functionality, all you can do is use the keyword which is extends. And this is going to inherit the parent class. So you just mentioned the parent class. So in this case, that's a user. So by default, whenever you're going to create an object or instantiate the object uh, with the sub user, it actually acquires all the properties here. But there is a problem. It cannot acquire the property which is mentioned as private. Because remember, in the last video we discussed that private, when you mention the keyword private, it can only be accessed within the class, not outside the class. So public is accessible in this class as well as outside or creating an object, there is, it is also accessible. So what we can do here is, we can go ahead and create something like is family. So let's just say a family is also using this. So this is going to be a simple Boolean and we're gonna mark this as true. So now we have a new property, which is is family and that can also be accessed. Let's just say you define a method which is going to manipulate this underscore course count. So we're gonna go ahead and work on with that. So let's go ahead and try this out. We're gonna go ahead and say, uh, what should we name this one as change course course count, there we go. And this is going to be a really simple method. All it does is anybody calls that, it just changes the course count. So we can go ahead and say this dot uh, underscore course count, and we change it to four. For some reason, I don't know what's the reason, we are able to change that. Now notice here it says a property underscore course count is private and only accessible within the class. I am a big fan of how these errors actually comes on the VS code, especially with the TypeScript, no match for that. And the moment we change it up from private to uh, another keyword, we can actually go ahead and we have the public, we have a private and we have a protected. So we're gonna go ahead and say protected. The moment I say protected, this simply means that this, wherever you place it in this property or wherever, this will be accessible in this class as well as in any class which inherits this class. It will not still be available outside of this. You cannot access it directly like Hitesh dot something like that. You cannot do that. But here now it is accessible. And yes, that is your protected. Another type of access modifier. There is no need to go and dig dive it further. Just remember, wherever there is marked as protected, it can be used in the same class as well as any class which inherits that. That's all. That's all you need to know. Let's go ahead and catch up in next video.